A common reaction of simple tertiary alkyl halides is that of solvolysis, in which a solvent such as water acts as a nucleophile and replaces the leaving group, producing, in this case, the tertiary alcohol product. When a good leaving group such as a halide is present on a substrate, the polar solvent promotes loss of the leaving group to produce a carbocation. The carbocation is flat, sp2 hybridized, and in need of electrons. With water as a solvent, it can act as a nucleophile and trap the carbocation to give a stable protonated alcohol. In the last step, the water solvent is then able to deprotonate the oxonium species to afford the alcohol product. The first step, the formation of the carbocation, is rate determining. Here the leaving group breaks away to produce the 6 electron tertiary carbocation, which is achievable because of the significant electron donation from the 9 adjacent beta bonds in the form of hyperconjugation. The water solvent is present in excess, and in a second fast step, water attacks the electrophilic carbocation to produce the stable 8 electron protonated alcohol. This step is fast because the tertiary carbocation is now flat and not crowded. The last step in this process involves the water solvent deprotonating the acidic oxonium species in a fast acid-base reaction to give the alcohol product. The polar protic water solvent plays multiple roles in this solvolysis process, from facilitating the leaving group breaking off, to acting as the nucleophile, and then reacting as a base in the final step. In summary, a solvolysis reaction occurs when a secondary or tertiary alkyl halide is treated with a polar protic solvent such as water. The solvent promotes loss of the leaving group to form the carbocation in the rate determining step, and then behaves as a nucleophile to give, ultimately, the alcohol substitution product.